Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Kate. I do a, um, a lot of hauls, mostly hauls I think, and decorate with me's or home tours. I haven't really gotten into the other stuff yet, but we'll see how that goes. So if you're interested in seeing what I've purchased so far for the Christmas season, this is a pretty huge haul. In fact, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit it all in one video or not, so we'll see how that goes. Um, there may be a part two. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I went a little crazy. I think I go crazy every season. So this isn't a surprise even though I'm acting shocked. So anyways, if you want to see what I've purchased so far, I think I'm going to start on this one with like Walmart and Target. I think those are going to be the places that I start first. So we'll see if we get through all of that. And then maybe in part two, I'll do the other ones. We'll see how it's running. So if you're interested, then yeah, just let's get into it and just keep watching. Oh, you might want to grab some hot cocoa or know, some tea or something because, yeah, it's going to be a minute. So, all right. So the first thing um, that I'm going to start with, only because it's sitting right here, are these cute little yardsticks that they have at Walmart. Um, this one here is the reindeer one. And these are each 98 cents. So um, you can see that it's kind of um, three-dimensional. You can see that on the side. But... Um, Anyways, the deer pops off. I think this particular one right here, the deer, this little piece of tape is coming off, so I'll just have to glue that back down. But I thought this was really cute. I'm actually going to pop it off the stick and um, put it on a different kind of stand for um, the tiered tray. So that's the thought there. And then I also picked up this one that says Santa, stop, please stop here. That one's really cute too, and that will be like a tiered tray sign. And then of course I got this one because it has the red truck and for 98 cents um, I couldn't have DIY'd something like that. So anyways, I think that one's really cute. Actually all three of them are really cute. And I think I have some of these from years past. I'm going to do um, an unboxing, not really an unboxing, but yeah, kind of like an unboxing of all of my Christmas decor from before. So um, yeah, if you're interested in watching that one, that one should be coming up as well if I can get it filmed. So let's see what we've added to those. When I do my storage. I really want to start doing storage for um, like tiered tray decor versus like Christmas tree decor versus table decor that you know like really organize it a little better. So that's my goal this next year. Um, actually when I take down the Christmas stuff. So anyway so the next thing that I got from Walmart I got several of their Walmart ornaments. They were a dollar 98 I want to say so not too bad. Um, I'm kind of sad though after I purchased this one I'm not super happy about it because it's got a plastic pine cone in there, which really looks chintzy. And this is actually just cardboard. I thought this was like a galvanized um, substance or galvanized material, but anyways, I think it'll work and it'll still be cute sitting in a tiered tray. So I picked up one of those. I picked up this cute little shovel. Um, they do have one of these at Dollar General. And I'm looking over here because I have Dollar General stuff over here too. I may have purchased it from Dollar General also, but there's this one. Um, it's got cute little pile of snowballs on it. And then this cute little Merry Christmas metal sign. Again, it's got that fake plastic pine cones. Like, I mean, pine cones are everywhere, so I don't know why we have to use fake ones. But anyways, you can hang it with the jute string that they've provided. This will either go on a tree or in a tiered stand, something like that. A lot of those bigger ornaments I purchased um, for tiered stand decor or just like tabletop decor. So I got this cute little Christmas tree. Um, this one will sit on its own. Um, it says believe in the magic of Christmas. So I really liked this cute little one and I think it's, um, you know, just adorable. You can either hang it, like I said, or it does have the base where you can set it. So that one was from Walmart. This one here, hey guys, real pine cone. See, it can be done. So this one is from Walmart also. It's another one of those $1.89 or 98. I thought this one was really cute. It does not light up as far as I can tell. Um, so I think it's just, you know, just a cute little lantern that you can, again, sit someplace, any place. I thought this one was a different type of truck. So it's kind of unique, um, not like the typical not like the typical red truck that we're used to seeing so it's kind of um, kind of a nice change and again it'll just be you know 
really cute anywhere you wanted to put it. I thought about putting this one in like a hurricane with some snow and like a couple trees, but we'll see. I don't know what I'll do with this little guy. I did purchase this little camper and this is kind of more um, because this is kind of more of my mom's style. She has an actual camper and so it's kind of a kind of a fun gift for her, just something different. I had gifted them a tiered stand decorated for um, 4th of July and so I kind of buy some stuff throughout the year just to kind of help them decorate for Christmas and um, Thanksgiving stuff like that. So anyway, this one will probably be going to her. This one here is, I think it says Jolly on it. It's just a really cute little snowman. Um, it's galvanized. It's got a hole in it so you could put like a candle in there. This does go through. Um, it's got cute little holly off the side. It'll be really cute just, you know, sitting somewhere. That one. I did purchase two boxes of ornaments um, this year. I got this little package here, which had the burlap with the chocolate. Um, this is the color scheme that I had in my dining room last year. So um, I'm not sure if it'll be what I use in the dining room this year or not, but I did get these for decorations for tabletop and stuff like that. So there's this one. And this one, um, I want to say it was under $5 for these, but I'm not sure. And I picked up these little guys. And again, I picked these up for more of the tiered stand decor. I don't know if you can see them in there. It's these really cute little reindeer. They're made with like jute. And then they have the buffalo check. The only thing I'm not wowy about is the um, lace. It's kind of like an iridescent. I think I may try and attempt to paint that or even replace that. But I thought these little guys were cute and for four of them, again, I don't know, it may have been five or six dollars, I don't know, so I thought those were cute. I did get one of these little trees and it's got some of the little, uh, some of the little pine coming out with, you can see the little red berries. So this one was just kind of cute. It does have a star topper, which is cute. Again, the jute twine if you want to hang it or you can set it. This little guy here, I have a DIY in mind for him. Um, I'm gonna put him in like a frame or a box, a shadow box type thing, but he was cute. It's got the little snowflake buffalo check ribbon. It's got a little top hat that's pretty cute and then the little bells. So he was a little cute guy. Picked up this, I thought it was pretty cute. Just the little letters to Santa. It's a little faux mailbox. It was silly little plastic pine cones, so. Don't know why they had to do that this year. That's kind of frustrating. But anyways, I still picked it up. So does it really matter? I don't know. I got three of these little guys. And I got one. I just got one in each print. Um, so I got the buffalo check with the greenery on top. Little berries. I bought the Christmas plaid. Somebody else had a name for this plaid, but I don't remember what it was. So anyways, if you know what it is, let me know down below. I got that one and then I got the black and white um, buffalo check. So these are just cute little um, foam pieces, I guess, inside, but they're wrapped and I thought they were well done. So I went ahead and just picked those up. They were $2.48 a piece, so you definitely could have made them cheaper. Um, and if I have time, I may make some more, but I went ahead and picked these up because I figured they'd be going pretty quick. In the miniature tree section, I purchased some ornaments and um, there are little wood tags. And I've got these here. And you can see them, just really cute, different sayings on them. And they've got kind of like a rustic type paint job to them. So I picked up those. And then I also picked up these here, which I thought these were really cute too. So you've got the tree, the sleigh, um, Joy, Noel. Again, they're just little wood tags, so I picked up those. And then this one here um, is a little bit bigger ornament. You know what's interesting is like this is actually foam. I thought it was wood. Um, this one was three three ninety eight, but um, again, it's a good size. And of course, it's got the red track with the little tree. The tree looks like it's just like floating on top, so that's kind of interesting. But um, I like the plaid background, and then this raised wood piece that you can see there. So I thought the details on this one was pretty cute, so I picked up one of those. Okay, so here's this one here, and again, it's got the jute twine, it's got those, oh my gosh, they're real pine cones this time, that's exciting. So, this one's really cute, the Merry Christmas is like actually raised on there, so I really, really like this one, and I have no idea, I know I got it at Walmart, but I have no idea where I got it, because I went back to go get more, 
and I didn't see a place where they were even supposed to be, so it's really cute, but it's very well done. This one is actually wood, so I like that one. I had to get this bicycle for what reason, I have no idea, but other than it was cute, um, the little tree fell out and I had to put him back in already, but it's definitely cute. The little wheels do spin, obviously. Um, just really cute little addition. At Walmart, I did get one of these and they are on the clips so you can attach them to something and then I also got the little elf feet. Again, it's on clips. I thought these were adorable. Um, I did just get a couple and they will either be like, um, you know, coming out of a coffee cup on a tiered tray or, um, you know, on a tree somewhere or something. So I thought those were kind of cute, just like sitting out of the tray, you know, prop them up a little bit so you can kind of see. Anyway, so those are cute. Okay, also at Walmart, I got this Mainstays Christmas candle. I did get two of them and they're in cinnamon, but that, that frosted cranberry glass or Christmas glass is beautiful with the gold lid. The only thing that I can say is they smell amazing in here, but when they're burning, the throw is not there. So they were $7, I think, something like that. So I wish I would have only got one. I may take this one back just because I'm disappointed in the content, but um, the actual glass itself is very pretty and would make a really pretty addition to like a cocoa bar or something like that after the wax is gone. So I may keep them, we'll see. I love this, this color though. But in case you're wondering about the throw, no, not worth it. I also purchased one of these and this is a battery operated lantern and it's just a cute little one. Um, I absolutely hate the interior. I do not like those plastic leaves at all. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this taken apart without breaking it. The little top seems to pop off, but I don't really want to break it. So if I can figure that out, I'm going to swap out the interior and then it'll probably go on a tiered stand or something or somewhere. I picked up that. That one was $4.98, which I didn't think was bad because it's pretty good size for $4.98. And it's battery operated, so the lights. I did get two of these little guys, and I say little, they're not really little. They were four bucks. Um, but they are like an interesting material, but I just absolutely love the way they look. They're very farmhouse, rustic, winter wonderland kind of Christmas. And uh, I just went with two of these just to have sitting around. They may be like statement pieces on the tree, I'm not sure yet, but did get two of those. Got one of these cute little peppermint trees. It is an ornament. Got this cute little peppermint topper. And then it looks like peppermint ribbon. Just really cute. It is hollow. Um, so you could stick it on something, but I really like that one. Okay, I did get one of these trees. Um, definitely not my color scheme, but I really liked the style of the tree and it's not like breakable. I really like the color. Um, so I don't know if I'll keep it the way it is or if I will, um, you know, paint it. I thought about painting it like a flat matte um, white just to put on a tiered stand, but uh, it's kind of pretty the way it is. So if I can get something else that'll coordinate with it, then I'll leave it alone. Otherwise, it may get some DIY to it. Um, in the village section at Walmart, they have some little bottle brush trees, and I really liked um, these trees because they're kind of like a wispy, drapey tree as opposed to some of the other bottle brush ones. Um, I really liked the style of these. The bases are kind of different too. I mean, I will probably paint them up a little bit, make them look a little bit better. Uh, but I really liked the style of the trees. So I did get, and they were, these here, these bigger guys were like a dollar a piece, which seems a little crazy, but, and then these tinier ones were only 86 cents. So I did get three of the big ones and two little ones, only because I could only find two little ones. Sharper point to this one, I'm not really sure what happened with that one. But anyways, we'll figure out something. I picked up these because I also forgot I had to change my position my like was falling asleep anyways I also forgot that I got this little guy he's this adorable little snowman with the cute little carrot nose and I love the gray colors um, and then the wood sticks for arms so anyways I forgot about him because I had him hanging back here on my little tree so okay so next um, I think that was it on the ornaments from Walmart I did pick up a few, um, a few too many items. So, so the next item that I had picked up was this box set. And I'm kind of sad because once I got it home, let me figure out where it's at. This is the, 
this side's kind of dented in, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. But it is a box set that had a, um, they're in the nesting boxes, and so the next layer, this one that says cut your own trees. It's got like a birchwood style plank top. And lastly is this box. So the red truck Christmas tree farm. I thought it was pretty cute. And so I will just be sitting these around as decoration, most likely. I did pick up one of these wall art signs and they are the pre-stick, um, peel and stick, excuse me, that does say it has glitter on it, which I didn't recognize that, or I didn't realize that, I should say, when I bought this. But um, I wanted to turn this into a picture so you can kind of see that it says, you know, farm fresh Christmas trees, cut your own with a little arrow. I had one of these last year and I put it on just the wall and with the hot, cold, hot, cold, it definitely peeled off really fast. So I'm looking to make this like a permanent picture. So we'll see how I DIY that. I did pick up a few different gift card holders and gift bags just because the style is really cute. Um, I don't intend on using them for gift cards, but definitely use them for decor. So this one here is just the Buffalo Check, um, Buffalo Check like Christmas stocking and it says ho 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 on it. So there are three of those in here and I think it was maybe a dollar or something like that. So I got one of those. I purchased this gift card holder box set that has three boxes in it. And the top one says um, Merry Christmas and it's got trees on it. Then we have North Pole Delivery Service. Um, there with the buffalo check and then of course the um, red check Christmas that says happy holidays on it. So I thought those were cute and again those will just be kind of for more decor pieces than anything. And then these little guys here are really cute as well. The little old Volkswagen bus maybe? Is that what they call them? Van? And then the Christmas tree on the um, pretty Christmas plaid and they're a little bit thicker things so they should be able to stand up pretty well too. Now this here was definitely one of those purchases that I was kind of like hesitant to do because the price was kind of high. So I did get these from Walmart and they are the burlap potato sack kind of things. They are a set of gift bags. Now I absolutely love this first one here, this Kringles Candy Company. And the reason I bought it was because of that. And then I realized, okay, that's fine. You get the second one for in the set as well. But there is a third one that is the larger bag. So $4.98 for three of them made me feel a little bit better. And I'm definitely going to, you know, just kind of DIY not DIY, I'm not going to DIY. I'm just going to kind of like fill these with some stuffing, newspaper, something like that, just to fill them up and then set them around. I think they're really cute. They will not be used as actual gift bags, most likely. I did find another ornament. So um, this one here, it says nice until proven naughty. So I thought that was kind of cute, kind of fun. Just a little different. That may be a bedroom ornament. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. In the Christmas section um, at Walmart, I did purchase these. These are a 10 pack of the 12 inch garland ties. They're a little bit different than um, the uh, Dollar Tree ones. And so I did go ahead and get two. Don't mind my nails, I'm gonna do that later. Uh, I did get two more packages of those. I purchased them last year and I just use them as filler on those Dollar Tree trees. Um, and I may, make any, I may be making a centerpiece with those. So I definitely wanted to have a little bit thicker trees, so. I bought two of those. Also in the ornament section, I did buy a pack of these DIY snowflakes. These snowflakes and Christmas trucks. Um, you guys can see that okay. They have a couple different kinds. So I kind of thought those were, those were pretty cute. You can definitely paint them. You can stain them, which most likely I will be just staining them. So we'll see how they turn out. I did get this little Joy Christmas bag and on the front um, you can see the sparkle on the glitter but on the back it is a muted white so I will be doing a um, picture frame with this most likely cutting this out and DIYing it. It's not going to be an actual gift bag so got that. I did get several of the um, little fat quarters. I got the um, candy cane one. I got a Christmas plaid. Again I don't know what they call that one there. 
Somebody had a name for it, but I really love those colors. This one's more of a yellow and red though. I like the really green one. Then we've got some pine cones and some pine tree needles. We got a red and gold black there. Of course the red truck, which the red truck one, I did purchase it in the, in the larger um, one yard cuts as well as this cute little snowflake one. These may be pillows, I'm not sure yet. Um, sometimes I just lay these down. Um, I did open a couple. I do just lay these down and um, in like a tear tray or in a dull bowl or something like that just to give it a different um, texture or appearance down below. And so I thought this one was really cute too, yeah, this pattern. So I perked it, perked up. I picked up these. So I spent a little too much on these and I kind of regret it, but um, I have them. So now I'm going to turn them into what my envision was. My vision was, I should say. So I bought several of these and they sell hot. I do like this. I don't know. I don't remember how that works. I think it's gonna look like hot there. I don't know. Anyways, so they're gonna spell out hot cocoa. So I got hot and then I got enough to spell out the cocoa. Um, but I wanted to put them on an actual picture and so instead of using those ornaments, so I would like to do a rustic type sign. Um, I thought about making them into a garland, but I'm just not sure how they'll hang. So I still am not completely decided. I have not completely decided. Like I'm not set in my mind on like how I'm going to DIY these, but they were $2.48 a piece. And so that's why I said I probably went a little too crazy there. I probably didn't need all of those. Does anybody really need any Christmas stuff? Okay. So Christmas See, I think I'm gonna move on to the ribbons because they're just screaming right here. So, first set of ribbons here, um, very cute. It's got the red Christmas tree, it's got the red truck with the little, this is a new concept and I really think it's, I shouldn't say new concept, but I absolutely love back here. You can see the little snowman. You can see that? The little snowman um, sliding behind the truck there. I'm not really sure if he's like riding it or if he fell out, it's supposed to be like the tailgate. I don't really know, but it's super cute. But anyways, this set actually came in the gift wrapping section. So like by the wrapping paper and stuff like that. So I picked up these um, little guys and they are 25 feet of ribbon. And I've already opened one, I had two of these. Um, so I've already been doing some DIYs with those. This one is a velvety texture almost, like a flannel or, I don't know, it's a little different. And so this one I love the gray and the white and the red this year. I think that's very pretty. So I picked up one of those. This one here was $5.98 and I've already, um, I did get two of these as well. And it's this really cute pattern. I had actually used this on a Dollar Tree candy cane form, wrapped it, so it turned out really cute. Um, I'm still working on the actual like pine needles on it and stuff, but I did use one of these already. And so I just bought another one just in case. Um, but I think it would also be really pretty in just a bow. So I picked up one of those. This one here kind of came undone on me, but again, this was in the gift wrapping section. And so it's this um, Buffalo check or what's the other one? Checkered print in the red and black. And you get 25 feet of that for 248. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, and in that same aisle, again, down the gift wrapping aisle, I picked up these two as well. Same concept. Um, I think it's like 20, 25 feet. And we have a really pretty gold as well as like a black and red chevron. A gray and white with the snowflakes. And you can kind of see there's like a little checkered background, which, um, you know, on the snow flocked or on the flock trees, I think they'll be really pretty. So I did get one of those. And that one is a... Um, 248 for 15 feet of gift wrap ribbon. So again, it's a gift wrap ribbon, but it does have a wire in it, so you could make a bow out of it. Um, I think this is the last one. This one is gift wrap ribbon as well, and it's got these really cute Christmas animals with the buffalo check. Okay, so it's got like the deer, and then you can see that there's also like some Christmas trees on there with some white snowflakes on a cream background. So I thought that one was really cute. It is only 15 feet for 248, so it's a little bit smaller. It's got the wired ribbon, again, in the gift wrap section. 
So I think next we will move on to the Christmas greenery that I picked up this year, which I did definitely go a little too crazy. Um, but they had such cute stuff and they were like under a dollar a piece. So I did get several of these and they were 98 cents, 97 cents. And they are called Snowy Pine. These actually have real pine cones on them. So that's nice. They're not the cheap plastic ones, even though the stems actually look kind of plasticky. I think as just filler, um, like on a tiered tray or in a garland or something like that, I think these will look really cute. So I did pick up what, five of those. And then this one here, these were 98 cents. These were like frosted as well, but they were like seriously frosted, like silver frosted almost with little berries and pine cones. So I thought those were absolutely adorable. And I think those would be really cute just sitting around. They just scream Christmas to me. They're so pretty, love the coloring. So on these little guys, when I was in the store, I definitely had like a thought in mind. And then when I got them home, I'm like, wow, those are really gray. So I may have to rethink what I was gonna do with these, but I absolutely love the little whimsical sprays coming out of them. It's got the real pine cones. They were 97 cents, so I did pick up four of those. And I just found another one of those little guys. Okay, so then I have four of these frosted ones with the larger pine cones. Um, those are real pine cones. Again, they look a little sparkly, very cute style. These were only 97 cents, so I did get four of those. I did get five of those. And then I also got these green cypress. They were 97 cents. Now they have these at Dollar General, and I wanna say the stem is probably probably two of them together and they were two bucks. Um, they look very similar. So um, I had found the ones at Dollar General first. Let me grab one. Okay, so actually they are $3. This is the one from Dollar General. And then this is one from Walmart at 97 cents. So if you're in the market for these, I would almost say that I kind of like the Dollar General ones better. Um, but you know, these are a really good alternative if you don't need something as large as the one from Dollar General. So. And these were 97 cents, and again, this one is $3 from Dollar General. So I just want to show you guys a comparison there if you're in the market for that. So they also had some harvest stuff left, and I have bought like four or five things, but I wanted to show you guys this one because I'm planning on using it. Actually, I'm using all of them as Christmas stuff. I'm DIYing them to Christmas. But this bucket was like $1.50, so I'm definitely going to be using this for Christmas. So, um, it's not too late. You can go see if there's anything left at your Walmarts. They went to 90% right away, so I thought that was interesting. But I picked up one of those. That's what I had all the greenery in, so. Okay, so this here is a nine foot greenery garland. It is not um, lighted or anything, but I absolutely love the different types of greenery that are on this branch. I think it adds a more realistic um, look to it and it's got the real pine cones. So I really liked this one. I think it was like $14 though for this. So I only picked up the one and we will see where I use it at or if I need any more. So I picked up that. I'm gonna DIY this little birdhouse. I really wanna turn it into something like a rustic farmhouse. So um, maybe woodsy. I have a I have a way of doing it in mind. I'm gonna put some jute twine on it, but I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. So we will see how it how it pans out. And then I did I forgot this one. I just got it today. So this is a gray and white plaid. Again, I just said I'm really drawn to that this year. So I picked up one of those, and this is the one yard fabric. All right. So just a few more items from. Walmart, maybe a few more than I thought. I did pick up two of these stems of the cottonwood. Um, I don't know what's the tag up here. They were four dollars for these, which uh, I really think they look a lot more realistic than the ones at the Dollar Tree. So I definitely think they were worth it. But I just got two. Found this really cute cookie jar. It's got the buffalo check sides. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but that's like two. So this truck is on the cover and it's clear. And then the bottom has this farmhouse design, like a barn back there. Um, this is snow. I thought this was really cute. This was like 
347 or something. So when we do our cookies, um, the cookie bake with me, and then decorating like the cocoa bar and stuff, I thought this would be really cute. So I did that. I did pick up another one of these snow things because I've been doing so many DIYs that um, when I flock the trees, I'm running low on that. So just picked up one of those. I picked up these, this little one here. Um, it's just this cute little lantern that's a hollow lantern and then you can add something in there. Um, I have like these trees that I got from Target that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, you know, like something as simple as that is just really cute in there for Christmas. So I picked up one of those. And then I also picked up one of these little guys and I'm having a vision of like just a simple Merry Christmas here like in white with maybe a little holly or something like that. Um, maybe with some sprigs coming out of it. So I thought this one was kind of cute. It's almost like a chimney top too, so I don't really know, but I really, I don't know why I was drawn to this, but it really was. I don't know what the price was on it either, but it was just in the normal home decor section, so if you're looking for one of those, you'll have to go that way. I did find this too, so I found this sitting down here by my head. Anyways, it's another jumbo ornament, again, $3.98, and I really liked the white um, sparkly. I thought that was really cute. And I'm, I love these types of um, orbs because they're just really good fillers, but really cute too. So I picked up that one. All right, moving on to the last few items from Walmart, I think. Depending on how far we're into this, I may have to, it's 22 minutes already, I may just do a Walmart haul. And then I may not do Target because Target might take a minute too. So anyways, not jabbering. Okay, so I picked up these trees. So these are from Walmart. A Walmart haul, so they're from Walmart. But um, the big one is the big one is four seventy eight, and the little one is two seventy eight. And I did go ahead and pick up um, the two different patterns. There was a third pattern of like a solid green, um, but it really wasn't drawing my attention. As well as these, I really like the um, the wood corkboard type bottom. I think those are cute. And these will just be cute sitting anywhere. So um, I picked up two sets of those. I also picked up these little guys. And I can't remember if they had the deer in the green and red or not. But um, they didn't have them when I went back. So if they did have them, they're gone. Um, these little guys, this one was $4.48 and this one was $5.98. But um, they really go well with my theme. The only thing I'm not wild about is the really obnoxious white collar so I may be switching that out for something we'll see um probably hot glued on but we'll figure it out so I thought these were cute little decor pieces and then I saved the most important thing for last because if you have never had these well actually I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you guys okay so I'm gonna show you these next item but I'm also gonna put a warning out there that you may want to stop the video now because if you have never tried these things and I show them to you, you're probably going to want to try them and then you're going to hate me for telling you you should try them if you haven't already, but they are the best thing ever. And I have a couple other candies that I would say that I'm not too, but these really are good. These are the Hershey's Hot Cocoa Kisses. They literally have a marshmallow flavored cream filling. And so... These are something that do not last in my house. I did pick up two because it's, you know, mid, or it's actually early November and they will be gone by Christmas. So, anyways, those are my last items from Walmart. So, I am either going to end this haul now and that is not everything from Walmart. And then I did get one of these. I did not realize it though. I'm a little upset. This was $26. Um, I needed some white lights for my new tree for downstairs. It's just the 500 LED warm mini lights, so hopefully they last for quite a while. And then the last two items that I purchased are the same. Um, it's these placemats that say Let It Snow, and they are really cute. They have like a glittery appearance to them, but nothing comes off, so that's nice. It's just like an iridescent thread, but I'm going to make these into a pillow, of course. So I did pick up two of those. So I can just, that seems to be a pretty easy, easy pillow. And I think it's really cute. So I picked up those two. So as of this moment, I'm going to say that this concludes the Walmart haul. And I will probably end the video here. I do have a few more items um, 
wrapping paper that I got. It's a premium heavyweight jumbo roll for $5.98 and you're gonna get um, 220 square feet, but you will see that it's got the red truck. It's got the front of a red truck, it's got the side of a red truck, it's got the back, I guess, of a red truck, and then the Christmas trees. So, very cute, it's got a Christmas tree. Um, I really liked the designs on this one. It goes with my theme, it goes with my colors, it's more of the muted Christmas colors. So I picked up that one. And then the last item from Walmart is this really cute sign. I was looking for the big one, they have a huge sign for $20. This one was only five, um, but I really liked this, the muted, understated color scheme of the black and white with just a pop of red. I think that's beautiful. I think it's very well done. It actually is supposed to be a yard stake, but somebody actually took the stake off already, it looks like, which I wouldn't have used it for that anyways. So I think this is really cute. It does have the hanging option if you choose to hang it. So, I will probably hang it or set it somewhere, but I love those colors. I think that's beautiful. Okay, so if you have made it this far, I appreciate you watching. I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude this haul. I was going to do Target, um, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and call this one Walmart and be done with it. Otherwise, it's going to be really obnoxiously long and I'll probably lose your interest and you'll move on anyways. So, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you for watching. And I hope that you guys enjoyed some of my finds. If you are excited about any one particular item, be sure to let me know in the comment box below. And let me know if this is your style or what other things you think I should be looking at. And um, be sure to introduce yourself if you're new. Make sure you consider subscribing to my channel and joining my family. This is the most wonderful time of the year. It's my favorite time. So I am happy to have you join if you choose to. And I think that's it. I'll sign off on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it really does mean a lot to me. So please know that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys. I'll catch you in the next one. What are you doing? Bye. <laughs> I'm making an intro. Okay. Oh, I can't it's, it. it's okay.